So what do you do if your data is not uh, normally distributed? So one of the things I remember being totally surprised that you can just, whoops, about that, that you can um, just transform your data. It doesn't seem like something you should be allowed uh, to do, right? Like just transform the data. But as long as the transformation is uniform across all of your data, um, this is a totally legitimate and common thing to do to your data. And one of the most common transformations is the log 10 transformation. Um, it's good when your normal distribution is positively skewed. Again, don't stress too much about this at point, this point, but it just means if that normal distribution, if that's like a perfect one, positively skewed might be, have either a slightly longer tail or it might start like that. It might be approaching a Poisson distribution. There are different slight shapes. And with a log 10 transformation, you can adjust that. So let me just show you guys, if you were to go back here, the way you would apply a transformation is you just hit log as a formula. And there it is, a log 10. Now there's different logs. Um, you can use log 10. Some people will use other log uh, roots, but you would use a log 10 in many cases. Hit that cell and it will give you the data. You can then drag it down. And you could run your stats on this. Now, when you report that, you just have to say, I looked at the log of the pretest scores. That's what I evaluated. And when you talk about that, it may be a little confusing because if you say there was a whatever percentage increase, that's gonna vary if it's a log transform data or not. Um, again, in this case, you don't have to do any transformation because the data is nicely normally distributed. Um, arc sine square root transformation, I just throw in there because that's good for percentages. Um, so that is a more complicated transformation. I'm not gonna show you how to do it. It's not super hard, but it's also just something that most people will never use. But I wanna just share it as something that exists in case you're looking at percentage data and it doesn't seem normal. Uh, that kind of transformation, you take the square root and the arc sine of the square root. So it's beyond me, I'd forget what arc sine means, <laughs> but I just know this is recommended in those cases. So, um, but the easiest thing by far that you guys can do is a non-parametric version of that test. So like the student t-test that you guys are used to, um, there is a non-parametric version of that called the Mann-Whitney test. And I will walk through that in a little bit as well.